morning everybody it's Carolyn RV rebel girl and I just wanted to get take a quick picture and a view of where we're parked at in Rice Ranch over here on Quartzsite at uh, 95 and 10 right near town there's my little my little rig and there's my sister's big rig well, there's two of them and there's only one of me I <laughs> know um, there's is like as big as my apartment like over two million people come here and you can see the big tent from here and this so this this particular RV um, lot is packed it's like a prime spot there's a big tent it was empty when we were there yesterday and um, that's where all the action is down over there by the big tent and right through town starting with the uh, at the corner here from rice ranch on. so i am on my way to the store and i'm going to get my headlight fixed so when i get out there to the rtr over there in skad wash i won't have to worry about not having a headlight come with me right back okay we're on our way um i there's not very many places around here to get anything fixed there's like only a, a two there's two dollar generals and no major grocery stores in quartzsite there's a little food mart but no major grocery stores so you have to go to parker for that or um blythe all right here we go See what this man says here keep out no trespassing oil disposal I wonder which gate I can go in oh they even have a notary public Emmett's towing well let me see what he says well he's fixing cars here so maybe he can help me out towing and repair let me see what he tells me I'm gonna leave the camera up on my dashboard and we'll see what they say. I'll be right back. Okay, really nice people. Uh, so if you've got to come and get something done with your car, you should come here. It's um, Everett's Towing and Repair. Um, and it's off the side street. It's off from the main road. I would never, if I didn't have to come around because I didn't know, find anything, 
you know, when I took that other turn, I would have never found this place or, or known about it. You just don't see it from the road. But he told me that the parts store is right here next to Dollar General. So I'm gonna go back in over here and I might be able to change this myself. But he was, he said, bring it back if you can't do it. It'd be $20 for him to put it in. Plus, you know, and then I have to buy the light bulb. So um, let's see what we, where we're going. Barbie's place is across the street. Here we go. Here we go. Stuff camel RV park. Oh, love that Volkswagen. Check that out. Cute. Well, some people don't like to be videoed, so I'll be going in. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back in my car. So this little place called Car Quest, uh, it's like a really tiny place. It's very nice, very nice people in there. I talked with a gentleman by the name of Scott, and he is going to get the part. They don't have it in stock. A headlight for me but the store in Blythe has it and I'm not driving to Blythe for it but he said he could have it here tomorrow and I'm like great <clears throat> perfect <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> it's $18 it's they're the only part store in town so I don't know if that's a good price or a bad price I've never had to put a new headlight in any of my vehicles. I had my Explorer for 10 years. They had 180,000 miles on it. Never had to put a headlight in. I did have to put a tail light in and it wasn't that much. But I suppose headlights are more expensive. But really, it doesn't really matter because I gotta pay what I gotta pay because that's all they have. So I'm gonna go over here to um, this Roadrunner Market and check it out. I I heard it's probably a good store to go to. A lot of people say it's a good grocery store. And uh, I'll go check it out. I'll take you with me. I'll try to leave on my camera when I'm in the store. And then you can see as long as nobody complains because I can't um, I won't get any other people in the video. Okay, traffic. Oh, here comes an ATV.
Okay, so I'm leaving Roadrunners and it says that it's 61 degrees out, but I don't know if you can see how beautiful the sky is. Um, there are a few cl clouds over there to the other way, but it is, I'm like dying. I'm so warm. And I don't, I thought it would be cold, but. So I got a few groceries. I probably have more food than I really will eat or that I've ever eaten even if I was at, at home. <laughs> Isn't it funny how you do that? Because I'm gonna be out in the, you know, way out in the desert. I wanna make sure that I don't go hungry and I don't uh, have to leave. I don't wanna leave. I wanna be able to just stay there until I'm ready to go. So I wanna be able to camp for a long time. Okay, so. Find my way back to. Oh, it must be right here. To my 